Hey guys, it's Krause here. In this video, we're going to do a ramp start, and that is starting your jet cold on the ramp all the way up to taking off on the runway. And we're going to be doing an abbreviated ramp start, and not the full textbook ramp start, which can take much longer, and in my opinion, has some unnecessary steps, which I'm far too lazy to do. So, to get started, we'll go to tactical engagement, and then we'll just start the ramp start scenario. And then just start and go and click take off. When you start, you have three options. You have ramp, taxiway, and runway. If you click taxiway, it will go down to 20 minutes. It will accelerate time down to 20 minutes. And when it reaches 20 minutes, you'll start on the ramp. And what we're going to need to do in order to start this baby up is we're going to need electrical power and we're going to need fuel actually flowing to the engine. So electrical power is on this panel here, where it says ELEC. It's on the left side of the cockpit. Just go ahead and click this switch into man power, which is in the up position. That will start the battery. Then we want to give the engine some fuel. Go ahead and click the engine feed knob here from off to norm. Fuel's flowing into the engine now. Now we got to give it a spark. We're going to do jet fuel start too. JFS start two, left click there. Now the engine is winding up. You'll actually audibly hear it. And when this engine RPM gauge is at 25%, we're good to go to the next step. If you wanted to, you could start flipping on all your avionics power at this point, and it will sort of work, you know, when everything's in place. But as a general rule of thumb, as textbook, let's just wait until this is at 25%. Then, once it's at 25%, we can continue. We can fully start up the engine. So 25%. Now we can continue, okay? What we're going to do is, to fully start the engine up and give this jet full power, is we're going to want to rock the throttle out of its detent position. And how you do that is, is you just move the throttle, you know, rapidly until it breaks out of its detent. And you can do that in, if you don't have a joystick with a throttle, you can use your keyboard with right shift plus and minus, and I'll break it out of its throttle. Once it's out of the throttle, bring it up to like a 10 or 15% position. Then what you're going to do is, is you're going to press the JFS start switch, which is this little black thing right here. Just left click that, and then slowly bring the throttle down. And then you'll hear the engine really crank up. What's happening here, is your engine's going up to 70%. Now, so that the your equipment doesn't overheat, we're going to go ahead and turn on your air conditioning switch, which is right here. And it's easier to see if you use the 3D snap views. You can see it right here it's air conditioning onto norm. If you forget to do that, your hardware inside the cockpit can actually overheat and then you'll get an equip hot warning here. That might actually scrub your ramp start. So we're at 70% now, we're good to go. What I like to do is, at this point, I just start flipping on everything and I might even do it before it's fully done powering on, but the way I'll teach it is like this. First thing we're gonna do is turn on avionics power, which is on the right side of the cockpit. All these switches here into the up position. This switch is your INS switch. Um, we're going to have to switch that into norm, and that will start the INS alignment. By default, this jet cannot really navigate properly until it aligns its INS system, and that takes about 10 minutes. So that's starting now. Then what we're going to want to do is on the center power panel, we just want to put them all into the up position, put radar to standby. These other rows are optional. You don't have to do them. You could do them now if you wanted to. As this is all going on, if we look back to the center of our cockpit, we'll see that you know stuff is starting to power on. In a few minutes, the FCR is going to start doing a bit test, and when the bit test is complete, when the bit test is complete, this thing is actually ready to scramble. So the bit test is it's going right now. There's 150 seconds left. When that is done, when the bit time is over. Your, your chet is combat ready. It's basically, the radar can work. It won't be very good at navigating because the INS alignment is complete, but it can fully use all of its radar systems. So let's go ahead and turn on supporting systems. The most basic thing is over here on the left side, you have this knob on the auxiliary comms panel. Uh, this knob, it's in backup. We want to switch that to UFC. That will let you use both the Victor radio and the UHF radio. Down here, we can turn on our lights if we want. And one thing I, I should note is that you probably want to have your parking brake on. That's right here. That's pretty important so you don't roll into people and murder them. 
Okay, next thing we want to do is turn on, give power to the ECM system, which is right here. We want to put it from off into OPR. And we want to turn on our comms now. You see here, this knob here on the main comms panel, we want to switch that on the main. And then we want to take their COM1, switch from left to right, COM2, switch from left to right. This switch here, MSL, that's actually your missile growl for a sidewinder. You're going to want to turn that on. This one is super important. This is a threat knob. This is actually your sound for your RWR. So if you leave this off and you get in the air, you can actually be shot down by a SAM and not even know that it's coming. That's all set up. So now let's turn on the RWR itself, which is right here, this power button under the canopy release. RWR is powered on. Let's turn on control for all these things. Jammer control, RWR control, chef and flare on. Switch the mode to manual. That's all good. Good to go. At this point, you're pretty much ready to fly the jet. The only thing that's remaining is the ejection seat needs to be armed. And we do that by just putting the switch down here. The ejection seat's now armed. You can pull on this if you wanted to and you pop out of the jet. And you look forward, you know, the bit's almost on 20 seconds. We do have a invisible HUD. That's sort of a problem. Let's go ahead and press this switch here, which will affect HUD opacity. Left-clicking will increase, and right-clicking will decrease. And the INS alignment is going. Let's go ahead and load our data cartridge so we actually have our comm set up properly and we have our flight plan loaded into the computer. And as I was about to say that, the FCR is pretty much good to go. We'll switch that from standby mode into CRM mode. It's now combat ready. Replace the FCR tab with the DTE by left clicking under where it says FCR and then selecting DTE. Then click load. It's going to go through each category in your data cartridge, load everything. You'll see when that's done, you'll load your radios. And you start to hear comms coming on. Turn left heading 135. to final. Runway 36. And we'll go ahead and just replace the DTE back with the FCR. That's good to go. It is complete. You know, we'll, but what happened here? We lost our INS alignment status. Let's go ahead and press list on the ICP. And press 6, which will correspond to INS. This is the INS alignment status, okay? When this is flashing, when the ready's flashing, it's good to go. And on your HUD, you'll see where it says align. When that's flashing between align and uh, a number that's good to go and when the, when the INS alignment is complete you can begin to taxi and what we'll do is as a final step is we'll switch the INS knob from norm to nav and that will actually load the flight plan onto your HSD as a final note in order to actually start taxiing you need to turn on your nose wheel steering which is right shift forward slash and you'll see that here that's the nose wheel steering indicator and to actually, so basically your jet is actually stopped right now by chocks. They're actually blocking your wheels from moving. So you'd have to ask the tower to disengage the chocks, which would be through the Tango or T key, T and then 8 for install or remove chocks. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much that. And now let's go ahead and do it a lot faster. the engine. While it's going on, I can do all the other stuff pretty much out of order. Put the UFC knob on. Turn that on. Why not? COM1. COM2. Missile. Threat. Let's switch on my parking brake. Get the man. Around 25. Throttle. Throttle forward. Back. Turn the air conditioning on. Switch on avionics power. Minus alignment to norm. Sensor power on. Radar to standby. Switch on chat flare. 
annual ECM profile. That wasn't good. Okay, radar and gamma on. Let's go ahead and turn on my lights, why not? Okay, bits going. Put the data cartridge. Loaded. Lightning 1 1. Go Radio around. Tower. Contact approach when able or divert to your alternate. Lower that comm so we're going to Lightning 1 2. Go around. Contact approach when able. Okay. Lightning the hot opacity on. Zero zero back nine. to the FCR. Right Got 125 zero seconds zero. to bit. Seat's not armed. Eight. Let's go ahead and arm the seat. Good morning. Lightning Pretty much good to go. Now we just got to wait for INS alignment. Nav. It's going. A lot smaller number this time, or a lot larger ratio, because I went way faster. All right, guys. So at this point, you can see that Ready is flashing on my DED on the INS page. You also have a line flashing on the HUD. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna down here. We're gonna switch the INS knob from Norm to Nav. And at this point, you'll see the flight plan is loaded onto my HSD, and we can now navigate as per usual. So I'm just going to do a taxi now. So the first thing I'm going to do, turn on my nose wheel steering. I'm going to ask the crew, air crew, to remove my chocks. Chocks are removed. Excuse me a second while I put on my track IR. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and disengage that parking brake. Slowly increase the throttle. Runway 18. Python 11, Kunsan Tower. Taxi clear of the runway. 